Good morning and welcome to the ETX Capital Morning Market Bite. My name is Mark Priest. FTSE uh, had another good day yesterday, closing up 67. Um, this was held in a large part by um, Arm reporting pretty good figures. Um, that's particular stock up 4.6% um, after a 9% rise in their earnings. Um, we saw that another reasonable day in the Dow, up 61 with the um, DAX up 104. So. A lot of the turmoil that was caused by um, what was happening in Ukraine um, and in Israel seems to have slightly calmed down uh, and the markets are reacting uh, positively to, uh, to the, the events that are happening over there, such as the black box is being returned and, uh, and the body is being, uh, being handed over to, to the Dutch. So um, we have seen uh, a lot of the gains, uh, sorry, a lot of the losses that, uh, that happened as a result of all this uh, now being wiped out, and um, most um, international bourses are, are, are back at, uh, at reasonable levels. Ex diffs today in the FTSE, um, there are two and a half points coming off at the open. Um, uh, London Stock Exchange and uh, Scotland, Scottish and Southern Electric are the two in the FTSE 100 uh, that account for those two and a half points. Um, we had reasonably good uh, earnings again in, uh, in the EU yesterday, with Actelian uh, probably leading the way. Uh, which is uh, Europe's largest uh, biotech company. Uh, that particular stock up 3.7%. So it's been a pretty good start to, uh, to the earnings season in, uh, in the Eurozone. Uh, in the aftermarket in, the, in America, we saw uh, Apple and Microsoft report. Um, Apple's um, third quarter earnings, um, they posted uh, $1.28 one um, versus expected um, $1.23, so that was a beat there on, um, on earnings. Um, revenues, however, were, uh, were a, little bit, um, a little bit lower than expected, uh, and initially the stock did start trading off after hours. Um, however, it has since settled down and, uh, and is close, sort of, um, just slightly, slightly down, maybe half a percent down. Uh, Microsoft also saw a, a rise in, um, in revenues. Uh, they posted 58 cents versus 60 cents. That miss was um, down to um, the acquisition of Nokia, um, and that was an expected, uh, expected hit there. Their stock was pretty much unchanged um, after hours. On the currency side, Euro dollar, uh, we saw a bit of a sell off in the euro. Um, that's um, broken the 135 level where it's. Where it's um, there was a lot of support around that level. It's now currently trading at 134.65, so we could expect that to go a little bit lower. Um, Aussie CPI came in line with ex expectation, but um, the previous was uh, was revised better. Uh, as a result, the um, the Aussie rallied against um, most major currencies. Um, Sterling Aussie currently trading around 181, having been around the 183 level sort of a couple of weeks ago. Um, cable is. Um, Pretty stable around the 170, 70 level. Uh, 171, 71 seems to be the uh, the resistance level there. Uh, earnings and uh, figures today. There's uh, there's no economic numbers out. So again, we're expecting a, a, a pretty quiet day. Uh, it's definitely the summer season, and um, and volumes are definitely a bit a little bit lighter. Um, I hope you have a good day, and thanks for listening.